Uh, greetings, my loyal viewers. It's been a very long time since I did any um, new content. This will be new content both in form and what I'm covering. Uh, this is not a chemistry review. Uh, this is a whiskey review, of all things. Um, I had previously recorded this on my old phone, but it kept overheating, so this is the second version. Uh, a little bit more concise than before. Uh, now, I'm a fan of single malt whiskies. I drank most of what I had uh, at the start of the year. Um, that depleted my supply somewhat, so on during a trip to York... Last weekend, I treated myself to a couple of, um, of single malts. Uh, one I've had before, which was the first single malt I ever bought, actually. And then this one, which I'm reviewing today, is a new one. Um, a new one to me, anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll preface this by saying I'm pretty selective with single malts. I only really like um, sweet, space-eyed-like whiskies. Not a fan of the smoky and peaty stuff, because it just... Tastes like soil, a bit like mushrooms. Not a fan of mushrooms either, but yeah. We all have our own tastes. So, here's what I've got. It is the Ben Riak. Uh, when it focuses. 12-year single malt. Uh, there's the front. Um, of course, Scotland. There's the uh, blurb if you want to pause this and have a read. But I think the... Um, Take home messages, they, they tend to finish this in cherry casks, so it's a bit sweeter than um, a lot of whiskies. Um, and there's the flavour profile, which is the usual pretentious blurb. I'll um, see if it tastes anything like that when um, when I come to have a dram, which I'm about to do now. Um, the bottle is very, very similar to the... Um, the bottle is very similar to the uh, can there. It's um, a little bit stronger than some whiskies at, at 46%, but that shouldn't make um, too much of a difference, really. Uh, some people would probably have a go at me for drinking this out of a Jack's. I think it's a sherry glass, but it's all I had to hand that was vaguely appropriate for drinking whiskey out of anyway. So, let's see what this stuff tastes like. Satisfying noise, the pot. Got a quite sweet, sweet uh, nose to it out of the bottle. Pop that under there. Probably can't tell um, the colour particularly well um, from my um, desk, which is a pale wood colour, but it's an ambery coloured liquid, as you'd expect from a Scotch. It's a very mild, mild nose to it. That goes down very, very, very smoothly. Um, sweet, smooth, nice aftertaste. Yep, I can recommend that. I think I paid about forty pounds for that bottle, which is on par with most um, most single malts. But yeah, not bad that actually. Quite like it. Now I, I know a lot of people will have some kind of um, scale for rating things in. I'll pop that under there as a bit of something for the camera to look at while I'm talking. Um, I, know, I know a lot of people will have some kind of scale for rating whiskies and talk about this, that and everything else. Um, I'll just kind of go on a, would I buy it again? Would I maybe buy it again? And would I not buy it again? Um, yes, I would buy this again. It's got quite a spicy aftertaste, actually. Um, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Hmm. I can certainly recommend that. Um, if you have the opportunity to go buy a bottle, why not treat yourself if you're into the sweeter, smoother side of whiskies? Go for it. 
Um, if you like this kind of content, um, please give us a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Share this video if you feel like doing that. Uh, if not, then leave us a comment. Or leave us a comment anyway. Why not? Uh, it's uh, It'll be nice to start the channel rolling again and uh, get some more content coming. If you've got any ideas of other things you'd like me to talk about from a sciencey standpoint, or uh, blog about, or vlog, or audio blog, whatever, um, yeah, stick something in the comments, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. So thanks for watching, and um, hopefully see you next time.